with multiple situations. But we'll see, man. If Joe since Joe Burrow's elite, they should go to the Super Bowl next year. They should be yep. they should go to the Super Bowl. They should go to the Super Bowl. And, 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 and play the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah. Play the Cowboys and see. Play the Cowboys. The, uh, uh, the Cowboys next year in the Super Bowl. Barkley actually signed as a free agent. It wasn't a trade. That's my guy, man, for the 202. I, I'm just not going to let y'all make it, man, with just Joe Burrows. And if you put Joe Burrows without acquisition, that uh, all of a sudden he's going to take that team to the – nope. But if y'all want to support Joe Burrow, hey, the Cowboys are going to do nothing. Application to be a, a Cincinnati Bengals fan is a free application, you know, and go out there and do that. You know, that's just what it is. All right. So the next caller of the hour is from the 703. Oh, oh my Boston goodness. Oh, That's... my goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? <laughs> Damn. Man, I've been sitting here listening for about the last hour, man. You got some hardcore people out there right now, man. They have been killing them. They have been yeah, killing man. the Cowboys, Law. Uh, yeah. They be killing. You know who this is, right? Yeah, 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 it's my dog, man. Yeah, on, you know, on, when man. I was talking to you the other day, you were, you were 100% right that the Cowboys ain't going to change anything that they're doing. Because I think back right. to four years ago about this time right now, because you were at my house, remember, before yeah. the whole pandemic yeah. blew all up? Right. And right. we were sitting here doing the same shit. Because you were talking about, you know, who we finally signed, and we signed everybody late. Gerald McCoy, Emerson Griffin, uh, Clinton Ha Ha Dix, Don Terry Poe, and we just wait, we wait, we wait, we wait. This is what the Cowboys do. So Mm -hmm. the, the crazy thing is, is we all go through these same emotions every year and everything else. But what's going to be crazy is come September, all these talking heads and all our Cowboy fans are going to say, we a Super Bowl contender. You know that, right? My, my point, oh, yeah, 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 because if we still, the expectations never change. It's still going to be, we got all of these weapons, yeah. we got all of this talent, and yeah. we, should pay, should we, we should be able to win the Super Bowl. And so I'm yeah, sitting here yeah, looking yeah, yeah, at but yeah. see, I'm sitting here looking at this. Every year, we lose another offensive piece. It was Amari Cooper and Cedric Wilson, right? You know, last year we lose right. Zeke. This year we lose Tony Pollard. And, you know, not to mention like Lyle Collins and um, Connor McGovern and Connor Williams. You know, w- what right. do we do to ever add anything to our team? I don't ever see us add anything to make us better. And then all we hear yeah. is Dak Prescott's trash. Right? Yeah. 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 And, and here, here's my thoughts with everything. Last year was perfectly. The, the excuse, and I'm going to use Burroughs, for example. Mm-hmm. They said that, hey, uh, the reason why he wasn't accurate or the reason why he wasn't oh. able to throw with a philosophy and a force is because he had a calf strain. You yeah. remember that? Oh, yeah, I remember that. And yeah. I'm sitting like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. We had a dude come the back year, with a broken thumb. <laughs> we had a dude come back with a broken thumb. So why are these excuses somehow – uh, 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 are usable for Joe Burrows, but are not usable for Dak Prescott because they said no excuses the year he came back with a broken ankle and had the exact same calf strain. And people were saying that, hey, no excuses. He should be able to hit this guy. He should yep. be able to hit that guy. But it wasn't transferable. And, and people say, well, he get a pass because he went to the Super Bowl. So if that's the case, Kerry Collins went to the Super Bowl and lost yep. it for the Giants. So, it's, so we should be able to say he's a top 10 or he's a top five quarterback in the world. Then. There you go. Um, I agree with yeah. you 100%. But how about Josh Allen's uh, turnovers this year? <laughs> you remember when turnovers oh, yeah, yeah, were a thing? Yeah, yeah. We were yeah, watching yeah, him in practice. Yeah, yeah. Dak Prescott turned over the ball in practice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he, it was turnover Dak, and people was doing the over under. Will he have 16 or will he have 19 turnovers for the 2024 season or 2023 season? People were going back and forth. They was counting them in mm-hmm. practice. We couldn't even – we talking about practice, man. We couldn't even <laughs> practice right. 
Right. We couldn't even get through practice and stuff. So I've got uh, your, your fan base is, is killing everybody. I got everybody that's in here that's saying, oh, my God, I can't believe you're talking to the law and nation and stuff. I said, yeah, I'm trying to step my game up here talking with Cowboys hey, royalty here. Say something to try and make people yeah. feel a little bit better because everybody is like, you know, off of, they're, they're, they're ready to jump off the bridges right now, man. Everybody is right, just right. ready to, you know, storm the castle uh, at the star and everything else and tar and feather the Joneses. Is there any hope of anything? Man, they, they go, they go, um, the, our biggest thing would be this is not their strong suit. Their strongest suit is the draft and mm-hmm. after the draft. Yeah. The thing is, regardless of whether or not you have Dak Prescott or not, Mm -hmm. we're going to have to stop the run, and we're going to have to run the ball. We're going to have to have bigger, better better bodies inside, the pause if necessary. We're going to have to have real linebackers. We're going to have to have those things in order to win for the 2024 season. We're going to have to have those things. Yeah. 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 Well, we got Eagle fans that have already uh, deemed that they're going back to the Super Bowl now. It's, it's going to be an easier pathway when you have a Jalen Hurts and a Saquon Barkley fighting over the ball. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and a <laughs> Kellen Moore coaching it. <laughs> and a Kellen Moore coaching it. Good luck with that shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I don't think Kellen Moore would know how to use Saquon yeah. unless he's learned. He didn't know how to use Austin Eckler last year, right? It was similar uh, as far as uh, a running back in the back foot. I know he was kind of banged up or what have you. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't know whether or not this, this offense, the four curl philosophy and principle is going to be a staple piece mm-hmm. for AJ. So it, it, all of those guys, I want them to say, I'm waiting for someone to say, yeah, this is the dream team. So when they start saying that, all we got to do is pull back the, uh, the, the Michael Vick footages and all of the other guys yep. who's, who said that they were the dream team, and, and that's going to happen again for them, you know. <laughs> yeah, amen on that one. All right, man. Well, I'm not going to keep you because I know you got a lot of people out there that want to voice their opinion and rip the Cowboys a new one, man. I, I mean, I'm telling you, man, uh, some of your fans, they are core. <laughs> Look, look, Mark, man, what are we going to do here, man? Uh, uh, I know you're close to that 100K. If not, mm-hmm. you're already close. You might be knocking on it today or so. Nah, right? How many today. you got right now? Uh, be about 4,000 away. 4,000 away, man. 4, we need to have away. 100K party, man, um, for you. So, hey, man, it don't have to be a surprise like party. You, you set it <laughs> up, man, and we we need to all need to be there, man, and, and pop some champagne bottles and, and food and all of that good stuff because I know – I know you know how to throw down. I'm, we're gonna make you work on a 100k day, though. Oh, there yeah. we we could definitely do that one, man. But at least we got the draft to look forward to. At least we got the draft to look forward to. Oh, oh what you doing for the draft? Uh, we'll be actually in, we'll be in Detroit, and hopefully we can find a good spot where we can live stream uh, from the draft itself, like we did last year. So uh, I'll be going up on Wednesday, mm-hmm. uh, and we're only about. Uh, half a mile from the draft stage where we're staying at. So hopefully we'll be bringing some great coverage and stuff right from there. Man, let's go, man. Let's have an unbelievable party for the draft. And uh, let's go, man. And I, Hey, man, much love to you, man. And I'm proud of all your success. Same here, man. And I man. say this community won't be the same hey, without you, bro. You, you know something, man, hey, hey, Law, you, you remember back about eight years ago when it was there, there was like almost nobody – in this, it was like you, me, Vosh, you know, and Shango. Uh-huh. And to see yeah, how yeah, YouTube yeah. has grown and exploded, and now the big boys are trying to come in here and seeing the success yeah. that you have, man, I'm proud of you, man. Because I think of, yeah. I feel like I'm Papa Smurf, you know, because I'm, I'm true yeah. blue like the Cowboys. And I think of like uh-huh. you and Vosh and DMV and all those guys like my kids. And I'm so proud uh-huh. to see how you guys have just blossomed and just really grown and been incredible. Man, we all feed off of each other, man, and uh, and this is what the community does, man. And, uh, and I appreciate you, Mark, and I thank you for your love and adulation, bro. All right, and, man, man. Y'all follow Mark Holmes, man, and uh, so we can pop them champagne bottles and, <laughs> and have a great time. Yeah. And hopefully we'll be doing I that one day up. at the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> hey, who knows, man? It could be this year, man. Every year. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate you, man. All right, man. Peace out. Yes.
Okay, man, there we go. We got my man Law Nation on there, man. But, yeah, Law is definitely nothing but the best. He is incredible and things like that. But, man, they killing them, man. Um, they are killing <laughs> Killing the Cowboys. I know Cowboys Nation, we mad right now, knowing that Saquon is in with Philadelphia. We got, um, of course, let me check in and ch- check out the Eagles Nation because we know Philly 500 is happy as can be um, right now. But what's funny is is how every year Eagles Nation is happy and swearing that they got the best thing. Let's see what Philly 500's got going on. Because I know he's trashing the Cowboys. The Cowboys still stink. They might be a lot better. They might. But we'll, we'll see. Okay. Would like to get CJ Gar Johnson. I think Geno Stone signed, somebody said. But I, I, I want a safety. I think you have to get a veteran safety. And you Shout have out to, to you. Thank you, Ronda. you got to get help, a safety help me, in here. In free agency. Bottles won't even be used anymore by that time. Okay. I hope so. He signs a good linebacker, a good safety. Me too. Okay. I don't know. I I think the Daniels Cowboys still stink. Because uh, y'all being funny. I'm just keep it real. Like I I just don't think he'll just like, keep what it real. Does he do good. Okay. I just don't think he's that good. I think he's Eagle good. signs okay, Saquon man, Barkley and him. Bryce Huff. DeAndre Swift as a, as a to backup, the Bears. He's one of the better backups running back. Brother middle, screwed us. Okay, I can't. I, I just can't. I, I, you know, I can't right now. I can't. With, I, I just can't. I, I just need to really think about this. And do. Those who can't talk about those who can't. Now, can you or can you not? No, you just want to sit on the sideline to talk about other people. Or can you step up? Those who can do. Those who can't talk about those who can. There you go. Just a linebacker or two. No need for safety. So... Does, is, is anybody, everybody feeling down right now? Is everybody definitely looking at this situation and saying, we're screwed? Is, is that the, the pulse of the nation right now? I, I'm just, I'm asking for a friend because it's been a rough day here as a Cowboy fan. Um, having been on here for five hours and seeing everybody else go through and get their shiny new pieces. And here we are still... Um, Waiting for the Cowboys to do anything, anything at all, anything. Just let us know that there's a pulse. Just, just anything. You know, I, I'd just be happy for, you know, cut somebody or something. Daniel, love it, Mark. We love you. I'm feeling good. It's hard on my ego. Um, but this is what the Cowboys do every year. Every every year, you know. Let let me remind you guys how bad it is. Let's see. See if I can find it real quick. Remember, this was. Remember, good people. And then I, this was just I two years ago. A head, I, I can't. I should say I can't think of. Uh, we're almost at four months in, right? We're almost in April, and I went back to January one. Think about how, think about how negative it's all been. Yeah. There you go. And and I and I, you know, God bless the Cowboys. I know you guys are the flagship. They let you guys say whatever you want to say. For like, I my time, my three years there. There's only one time, Sean, that they said, "Yeah, don't ask that question." Everything else, it's been fair game. Yeah. Not everybody does that. We saw with the Washington uh, Commanders. Yes. That their flagship station saying, oh, thank God we can talk about the Commanders now. <laughs> no, no longer affiliated with them. Right. So, but I looked at really, when I, Kevin, when I looked at just like a day by day timeline, you know, they beat the Eagles on January 8th. They lost two out of their three games, right? They blamed the officials 
for basically two of the three losses, which is terrible. Dak Prescott yeah. sits there and endorses fans throwing junk at <laughs> officials after the San Francisco game. He has to come out and apologize. You've got a PR director who retires. Nobody, no big deal. Two weeks later, he has. There's this horrible story Gardner about Minichie, him being two year, twenty five million dollar deal with the Raiders. The Cowboys Damn. have to throw a two and a half million dollar check at four cheerleaders. Dak Prescott has another surgery. The Cowboys trade a wide receiver that they used the number one pick on back in 2018 in exchange for a fifth because the coaching 